Meraki TV is proudly brought to you by George Focus of Focus Beyond. Education for investing wisely. Yasas, I'm Anna Savo, and welcome back to Meraki TV, brought to you by George Focus of Focus Beyond, education for investing wisely. We hope you've all had a great Greek summer break. We know we have, and we're very proud to say that it was topped off with winning the New South Wales Premier's Multicultural Media Award for Best Community TV. We have an amazing team here at Meraki TV, from presenters to writers to camera to edit, research, media, and let's not forget our sponsors and advertisers. But most importantly, we're here because of each and every one of you. This is your show and we're honored that we get to bring it to you each and every week. But to tonight's show, and we have a big one for you, including the latest Greek music news with our one and only DJ Crazy Con, a mini doc on Deca Penda Busto, the 15th of August, Helen makes staple favourite Spanakopita, we go to the Gramatakia launch, and of course, there's all the glitz and goss with Stavrula. But first up tonight, James Arvanitakis. A second generation Greek Australian, James is a story of someone who done good from the humblest of roots, but then had the courage to hear his higher calling and chase it, even when it meant going against everything he'd been brought up to believe. He is now the Dean of the Graduate Research School at the University of Western Sydney and winning accolades for his innovation. To elaborate more, here's Billy Kotsis with James Arvanitakis. Welcome James, um, it's good to be on campus with you here today. Now, years ago you started off as, as a banker. Yeah, I'm Greek migrant parents, they came here in the 1960s and financial security was obviously something mm -hmm. that all migrants, you know, especially Greek migrants, you know, wanted for their children. And so one of the things that, um, that you know, I, was, I suppose I was raised with was this idea that, you know, get in, get it, go to university, get a career that's safe and secure and, and pursue that. And you were very successful. So from what I understand, you're doing very, very well. You set yourself up quite nicely. Um, but then perhaps was it at the age of 28, you, you decided to pack it all in and you went traveling. Yeah, oh, well, yeah, I was, I did have a really great career. Um, I admit that it went very, very well and I really enjoyed what I did. But I suppose in the end, I kind of had this realisation that it's, it's not what I wanted to do. So I, I, I essentially sold a lot of everything I had, you know, um, a lot of my assets. And I went off to, uh, bought a one-way ticket, or around the world ticket, sorry. And it was going through Bolivia. It was there that I witnessed child labour. And I saw... Um, you know, eight-year-olds working, um, you know, in, in these conditions. Uh, Learned that a lot of them, you know, will, will, you know, will die quite young because um, they just, their lungs never quite develop. So that, that obviously had an impact on you. You came back to Australia and that set you off, that set off a, a course of events where you actually became an academic. Uh, I came back and I started uh, doing some work with different human rights and environmental rights based organisations. And as I was doing that, I actually met um, some, some folk who were doing some really interesting research. And I just sort of went, oh yeah, I should go back to uni. And I read somewhere that you're one of Australia's best academics. And I believe in 2012, you earned the Prime Minister's Award. There was some accolades there as well. Well, I don't know if I'm one of Australia's best academics, but that's an award that's very much focused on uh, innovative teaching amongst um, academics. And so there's only one, one award every year, and I was very lucky to, to receive that. Because I did some, I did some homework on you, and I saw some clips on YouTube where you're teaching your students various um, movements, dancing, they were clapping. That's um, that's completely different. I mean, that's not something that when I was at university, I, I was doing. Our, our lectures were kind of dry. I use all sorts of methods, um, sometimes flash mobs, sometimes dancing, mm -hmm. um, to actually try and get the students to kind of. Um, actually you know really feel the concepts you know like see the concepts come to life tell us about the academy 
Yeah, the Academy program here at, um, at Western Sydney University is a, is a, it's a fascinating program. Look, um, it was built to, um, to, for high-performing students, uh, and the idea is to sort of challenge students on three levels. One is, is to answer that question about, well, how do we prepare students for a, for a challenging future? And so it's kind of looking at how we future-proof education. The second thing that, the second sort of p pillar that it rests on is the idea of, of bringing together people from different disciplines. So you have, you know, nursing students, sitting with medical science students, sitting with lawyers, sitting with, with you know, you know, humanities and philosophers yeah. and artists and, and, you know, business students and all those people all sit together and confront certain questions. And it's so easy for, for students to get caught into a, into a discipline or a school and just do things from that space. James, uh, last question for you. If Meraki TV comes back and speaks in about 10 years' time, where will we find you? My passion is to keep on writing. My passion is issues around social justice. Um, my passion is to be part of public debates. Um, I think academics, um, you know, need to wrestle back the the role of of public spokesman and public intellectual from from shock jocks and those who who like to take advantage of. of of you know of, of fear and, and 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 misery i mean i also hope that you know i'll be i'll be sitting here and, and talking to you in 10 years time and saying oh well you know one of my students is now the minister for immigration and the other one is uh the minister for multicultural affairs and <laughs> another one is you know is, is is the next prime minister thank you very much thanks billy and happy name day to all named maria vespina panayota panayoti and all derivatives. Today is a massive day in Greece, celebrated as a public holiday. To find out why, including one of the more peculiar celebrations, here's our mini doc on Deca Pendavusto. Deca Pendavusto, or the 15th of August, is the day the Domitian of the Theotokos is celebrated in the Greek Orthodox tradition. The Domitian, meaning being taken up into heaven, and leaving this earthly life. It is an event that is a celebration of life ever after, rather than a mourning. In Greece, the day is third in line behind Christmas and Easter in importance, a national holiday honoured by both public and private sectors. The most popular celebration of the day happens on Dinos, where the Greek Orthodox Church's holiest cathedral, Panagia Evangelistria, stands and is home to the miraculous icon of Virgin Mary which was discovered underground in 1823. But the most interesting celebration happens in Kefalonia, where the miracle of the snakes occurs. According to legend, when the island was attacked by the pirate Barbarossa in 1705, the nuns in the convent at Marcopulo prayed to Mary to help them escape and she turned them into snakes so that they could get away without capture. Since then, every 15th of August, the Virgin Mary snakes enter the church of Panagia of Languvava and head to the bishop's throne and the icon of the Virgin. The snakes are harmless and, according to villagers, bring good luck to the island. The snakes have a cross on their heads and their tongues are also in the shape of a cross. They are known to belong to the Telescopus phallic species, also known as the European cat snake, and they appear in and around the courtyard of the church, on the walls and on the bell tower. The snakes show no fear while the services are held and are harmless during the festivities. As soon as the liturgy concludes on the 15th of August, though, they become hostile and aggressive and disappear back into the wilderness of the area. The snakes cannot be found until the following year. The inhabitants of the villages consider them to be holy, collecting them and setting them on the silver icon of the Virgin of the Snakes, Banagia Fidusa. It's also been noted by the locals that during World War II and the year of the island's destructive earthquake in August 1953, the snakes failed to appear. And now they use this as a sign that if the snakes do not show just before the 15th of August, that something bad is imminent. 
It's time for an income breakthrough to free yourself from working for money, have your money work for you. George Focus of Focus Beyond will show you step by step how to generate income from the share market irrespective of if it goes up or down. Access resources that do the hard work for you and devote no more than 60 minutes a month so you can enjoy financial freedom and time with family. To change your life forever, go to focusbeyond.com now. Iremia Home Care Services. It's so difficult asking for help. Take the stress out and enjoy precious time because there's no place like home. Eremia.com.au. Whether it's Melbourne, Darwin, Queensland, something exotic or just perfect Greece, call Mega Travel 9824 2427. SCJewelry.com, specialising in evil eye jewellery and pieces full of fun that are distinct, unique, and you. SCJewelry.com. C is you. Hey guys, this is DJ Crazy Con for Meraki TV. It's great to be back on air and we won. Big congratulations to Anna Savo and the Meraki TV team for winning at the Multicultural Media Awards best community tv show now i've got heaps of music news for you it's all happening in greece this summer we've got the hottest track this summer the hottest album the hottest appearances bouzouka news and much more the hottest bouzouka in greece have been Konstantinos argyros at fantasia yanis plutarchos at posidonio and yanyas and sakis arsenio at Franzelico. But wait, in winter, it gets even better. Listen to these shows. Vasilis Karas and Notis Fagenakis together. Paula makes her return with the one and only Saki Ruva. And headlining at Caramela this winter is Yorgos Tsalikis, Knockout and Kianos. Awesome shows. Models will just pack the bags and go to Greece this winter. Now recently, this year's 2016 Mad Video Music Awards were held at the Oaka Stadium and winners again were Stan, Furera, Elena Paparizu, Ana Visi and supergroup Melises. And there were some awesome performances. Stan with Papadopoulos was one to mention, but the one that stole the night was Kostandinos Kufos and... Katerina Stikudi with the Pure Homorphist in Alava. Let's check it out. Now, one of the other big shows in summer this year in Greece has been Andonis Remos' show at Namos in Mykonos. It's an annual show that he does. This year, he actually performed with the Gypsy Kings. And let me tell you, what crisis are they talking about? It was 1,000 euro per ticket for the front tables. Amazing show, finished at about 7 a.m. in the morning. And check out a little bit of the footage that we managed to gain. <laughs> the best album this summer is from Kostantinos Arkiros who's been killing it at Fantasia and his album is called Osa Nyothis. Get a copy of it. Best track, it's my favourite track. It is the big summer hit this year and it's called Pesto by Zan Batist. Check it out. <laughs>
People have been asking me when the new album's coming out. I start working on Grease 2016 Summer Sessions album 18 very soon. We're looking at an October release date and I'm also working on another singer to bring out here to Australia. You'll hear it first here on the Music News at Meraki TV. This is DJ Crazy Con saying Kalinichta sas. See you next time. Hi guys and welcome back to Helen's Cuisina. Tonight we're making Spanogobita, our favourite. Lots of spinach, lots of cheese. It's one of those things that's just great for afternoon tea or even dinner. Here we go. Simply put in all your silver beet, all nicely chopped up, really, really finely. Now some people like to cook this, I don't because it cooks in the oven and it just gets that really beautiful crunchy flavour. When you do cook it down, it tends to really get a lot of moisture in it. So this is probably the best way to do it. Now we're going to get messy. We're going to put in our mint. So again, we've got two tablespoons of mint, finely chopped. You can use dried mint if you like, but I like to use the fresh one. We've got some dill. That can be overpowering, so you don't want more than a tablespoon of dill. Four to five shallots, finely diced. Give it a bit of a mix. And now we can start including our cheese. We've got a cup of feta that's been finely crumbed. You want to put in half of that, give it a mix, because you want it to blend all the way through. Put some more in, give it another little zhuzh. Next, we put our shredded cheese. Now again, this is optional. You can put your halloumi cheese grated, you can put some cheddar, you can put some parmesan. You don't want too much because that feta is quite salty. I'm probably going to use about a half a cup. And now for that fresh ricotta. The fresher it is, the better it is. I like to use about a cup of that because it balances everything out. You want to add in about a teaspoon of white pepper. I like white pepper because it enhances the flavour. Give it a good mix. And then we're going to follow through with two eggs because you want to get that nice gooey consistency. Now you can do spinal gobita any way you like. Some people like to make it like a pie, some people like to make little ladies fingers out of it, but tonight I'm making a scroll. So we have a filler, we've got our butter, and all you need to do is layer each filler and give it a nice douse of that butter. I like them really, really crunchy, so I like to layer probably about three to four layers of filler and in between have butter in that. It's always a good idea to keep a wet towel over your filo to keep it moist. Once air gets to it, it's really, really difficult to work with. Now we're ready to assemble our beautiful spanogobita. So I've put my filling right down the centre and you don't want it to be too thick, purely because I'm making the scroll effect. And you want it to be easy to roll. So just gently roll it, really, really gently, because the filo to work with is so soft and delicate. I also like to put a little bit of butter as I'm working and scrolling at the same time to keep it moist. It helps when you want to make that scroll effect and the filo not to break. I like to finish it off with just a little bit of poppy seed. You can use sesame seed, but the poppy seed makes it pop. So these guys are going in the oven for about 20 minutes or until they're golden brown on 180. So there we have it guys, our spanogobita. Kali Orexi, you're going to love these ones. DJ Crazy Con presents Grease 2016, the 17th installment in his iconic Grease CD series. 20 tracks of Grease's biggest artists: Bandilidis, Kiamos, Retos, Master Tempo, Salty, Dalidis, Vegas, Knockout, and many more. Plus a trademark super mix by superstar Greek Australian DJ producer Crazy Con. Get your hands on the hottest Greek CD this year: Grease 2016.
valetsalons.com.au. Enjoy the ultimate Hollywood hair and body experience right here in Cogra with Valet. Mention Medaki TV for a $25 hair treatment free with any service. Valetsalons.com.au. The Many Faces of Hellenic Culture, a fascinating read by author Billy Kotsis, who takes us to the Greek colonies of the Mediterranean, Black Sea, Asia Minor and the Middle East. Available from Amazon and anywhere good Greek books are sold. The long-awaited Stavros Niakos Foundation Cultural Centre in Athens was launched. Created by architect Renzo Piano, it was his task to transform a derelict Olympics parking lot. Home to the National Library of Greece and the Greek National Opera, it's one of the largest donations in history, thanks to $660 million from the Stavros Niakos Foundation. The charity set up after the death of the Greek shipping tycoon. A magnificent gift to the Greek state. Wedding season is upon us, and this year more and more couples are choosing to tie the knot in Santorini. A great boost to the Greek economy. There's an estimated 1,500 weddings held each season, from civil and religious, small budgets and big. Want to get hitched? Don't wait too long to make plans. Santorini is getting fully booked out. 32-year-old Darren Metropolis bought the Playboy Mansion. And why not? He already owns the house next door. So why have two estates when you can have one big one? Metropolis paid over $100 million for the home and as part of the deal, Hefner, age 90, gets to live in it until he dies. And after that, the two estates will be joined. For all the single ladies, Metropolis is into skiing, snowboarding and running his business. A very serious young man, not a playboy at all. Sydney's Alpha restaurant has a little sister venue, flashy new bar, Beta, which opened upstairs at the Hellenic Club. The bar offers modern Greek mazette and a range of complementing cocktails, such as the dirty Greek martini, with crushed volos olives shaken and served with a grilled horiatiki skewer. Andrea Giordano, along with former Key, Favot and Three Weeds chef Daryl Martin, are bringing Eastern Mediterranean with a modern twist into their new restaurant Bazari. Bazari is right at home in Addison Road, Marrickville, for its vibrant dining scene and accessibility. Learning Greek for many brings back memories of boring Greek school lessons and rulers across the hand. Well, one man on a mission to make it fun is John Nikolakopoulos with his new book line, The Grammatakia. Demetra Alexandria went along to the launch to find out more. Yasu and welcome to Meraki TV. Today I'm here with John who has just launched his own book called Ta Grammatakia. So John, tell us about the book. Well, it's a book that, um, that anybody with any Greek uh, skill or no Greek skill at all can read. So I've had like, you know, Japanese kids and Chinese kids and Jewish American kids reading Greek to their parents. And the way it's done is with basically using um, Greek, English, and uh, a, like a transliteration in between. So it's really easy to follow. Greeklish. Greeklish, yeah. <laughs> but a very carefully kind of designed Greeklish so that kids learn the Greek as they go and they enjoy, like it's poetic in Greek and it's poetic in English. So it's fun to read and it's full of fun characters. The Grammatakia are these little cute letters of the Greek alphabet in the shape, they're like Pokemon style creatures. <laughs> so they're just fun, you know? So you've got Omicron and you've got Delta, you've got Epsilon that's a butterfly. So it's a really easy way to, um, to, to get Greek in your kid's life in a fun way and they learn a few words of Greek along the way. It's also got stickers, so what happens is you read the book about making a Greek salad and you put the stickers up in your kitchen and your, um, your kids are like, oh, aguri. Yeah, you know, and they pick as they're making a salad with you, they're learning Greek. So it's it's a really effortless, effortless way to, to get Greek in your life. Fun and interactive. Exactly. What letter are you colouring in, do you know? Ita. 
Great job. And what are you colouring in? Half. Have you read the book? Yes. Do you like it? Yeah. What's your favourite part? My favourite part is the end when it says Aramie has eaten too much. <laughs> That's my favourite part too. We've got a huge day here today. We've got like um, Greek Yoki. So what we've done is like anybody who can't speak Greek has been following the, um, the greek lish and singing to the uh, you know 60s star Aliki Vuyuklaki. And um, we've had Suvlakia here. We've had the people from Kuzina, which is a, one of my favourite restaurants. And we've had a choir singing. We've had a lot of stuff happening today. Yeah, it's been great. Drawing competitions as well. Yes. Tons yep. of kids inside. It's very exciting. Yeah, yeah. it's it's pretty it's pretty tough competition actually. They're all doing their best. They, they get to win the books. So, and they're drawing the gramatake. They're coloring them in. So. Excellent. They're very beautiful characters in my opinion. So make sure you look at the copy and get one. Vivia, thanks so much for joining us tonight. We are of course brought to you by George Focus of Focus Beyond Education for Investing Wisely. A big thank you to our guests, James Arvanitakis and John Nikolakopoulos. For all our news during the week, catch our Facebook, Instagram and Twitter feeds, as well as our YouTube channel and of course our website, www.meraki.tv. Until next week, Vivia, Filakia from me, Anna Subo. Meraki TV is proudly brought to you by George Focus of Focus Beyond, education for investing wisely.